Okay, I'm back for the uh, part two of the uh, blazer lesson. All right, so we basically basically got both both halves put together, uh, the lapels and the back of the neck, the collar. Okay, so a couple things left to do. You can go ahead and uh, fill this area with a gradient, and the way I'm going to do that is go ahead and select my rectangle tool, just create a rectangle, and throw the gradient in there. Now. I'm going to take everything, then hold shift and click on the gradient to deselect it. Then I'm going to right click, arrange, bring to front. There we go. Now, again, I did a, I did a button lesson already. So I'm just going to do something simple here. I'm going to create a circle with a, with a gradient fill in it. Uh, let's see if I have another gradient here. Let's choose at least put a nicer gradient, that's all I'm trying to say here. Metals, and let's put the pearlized gradient, and change the stroke to 0.25. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that, reduce the size, select them both, center, center, using my align tools. Top one, I'm gonna change the gradient direction, and the bottom one, I'm gonna do the same. All right, I'm going to group that, and I'm going to create a rectangle, like so, and uh, get rid of the fill, change the stroke to like a point one. enter, effect, distort and transform, zigzag. Let's go to relative. Number of ridges. Let's change the size, make it a little bit smaller. Click OK. Switch to the selection tool. And again, center, center. Let's take the uh, button, bring it to the front. There we go. Let's make this a little bit closer together. Maybe I should zoom in. Alright, now I can take this and group this and here's my button. So let's position the button. I'm going to go ahead and put one button here. Duplicate, holding select, uh, alt, click, shift, drag. Let's put a third button in there too. Select all three. I know they're aligned, but align anyway, then distribute spacing in your align palette, like so. And group them. Let's zoom out. This is what we're left with. Looking good. So the next thing I want to do is do the back. And well, that sounded weird. Anyway, before I do the back, let me ungroup this sleeve and this sleeve. Now, group the sleeve without the body. I'm going to select them both. Let me zoom in. And I just want to adjust them because, as you can see, they're not fully. That's good now, but this one's not. All right, that's better. Let me zoom out. Uh, actually, while we're in here, the lapel should have a a seam that goes from here to here. And I'm going to change that to 0.5. Undo that. OK. Alright, now I'm just going to reflect this. 
copy, undo, there we go. Oh, wrong direction. Actually, is it the wrong direction? It, oh, no, it's not. I just went too far. There we go. All right, now zoom out. Okay, zoom out. All right, now let's go ahead and prepare for the back. I'm gonna go ahead and select this, copy and paste. I'm gonna bring it over here. Now I'm gonna take away the collars. There we go. Let's take away all the details inside. Just simply delete. And you could bring that to the front. I mean, I don't think you actually need, you don't, honestly, you don't need to, but I'm just annoying that way. Select the body, not the sleeves, just the body. Right click. And uh, I don't even know. Uh, don't right click. Select the body without the sleeves and go to Pathfinder Unite. This is what we have. Now okay, now before we continue, I'm gonna zoom into the bottom here and I'm gonna go to the delete anchor point tool. There we go. Let's zoom out, let's see what we have. Okay. Now the collar I'm gonna take from here, copy and paste and position it right on top, right like so. Let's make sure it's perfectly aligned because we need to be perfect. We don't need, we don't need uh, <coughs> lines to look awkward or anything of that nature. We need everything to be nice and neat and perf as perfect as possible. I've had the cigarette between my fingers forever. Let me just relight it. All right, now I'm going to take my pen tool, I'm going to put a seam right down the center, and it's filled, and I went a little extra, I went a little lower, let me zoom in, like so, and I want this anchor point to match with my original path. All right, zoom out. I wanted to. I want people to know that there is a slit down the back. I'll add. I'll add uh, maybe a bar tack or a little line just to show. And before I do anything else, let me go ahead and click here. Let's go up about this high here. Okay, zooming out. I need to grab one of those buttons and I'm going to take one of these. I'm just going to copy and paste all three of those like so and ungroup these and just take one of the buttons, copy and paste. There we go. And I'm going to put three of these on top of each other. I'm going to select them, align them, distribute spacing. Group them, bring them over here. This is, I like that. I, this is something I like in a blazer. And that's why I demo it. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and select them, deselect the sleeve itself, group it, copy, paste, a transform, reflect. Okay, you guys know that we get to transform by, by uh, right-clicking. And get it as identical as possible. Now I'm going to take a line from here to here. 
make it really skinny, 0.25 maybe, and I'm happy. Okay, so now you have a blazer, front and back, fully finished. I'm gonna, I clicked on the, in the layers palette, I went down to the first layer, way at the bottom, okay, repeat that, and just click the eyeball. Okay, now I'm gonna take this half, group it, bring it to the top, a little bit higher up, and I'm gonna take the blazer itself, position it like so and I'm gonna right click uh, <clears throat> select same fill color so all the white should be selected I'm gonna go in here now uh, let's choose brown double click the brown so I just wanted the brown as a base point and I'm gonna make it like a khaki blazer and there you go. So you have a blazer all done, ready to go, pretty good looking. And five of these is your homework assignment with one in an exploded view as I demoed. All right, well, this concludes the blazer demo. Uh, if you have any questions, see me in class, and I'll be glad to help you out. All right, guys, have a good time, night or whenever you're working on this.